Welcome to Travel Tracker Routing. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a newer way to route students on the Routes tab. So the first thing that we are going to do is go into this bus 16 for McCaskey East High School. And we can see here we've got 52 students assigned to the AM and PM. We're going to look at a new way of assigning students here. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go to these three vertical dots. This is going to open up the Edit Trip Properties window. And we are actually going to set the school for this trip to only be McCaskey East High School, since the only school that this bus is going to is McCaskey East High School. Now, in your district, you may have buses that go to multiple schools. If you are limiting your bus riders by school, this is going to be really handy when you're looking at assigning these students, because when we go into the next steps, it's going to show only students that go to McCaskey East High School. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and show you what I mean. We're going to go under this plus sign right here. And we are going to show unrouted and partially routed students, as well as stops within walking distance on the map. So you can see here, I've got a lot of stops and I've got quite a few students that are unassigned. There are going to be two types of student dots. You'll have completely unassigned students, which are these red dots. And then students that are partially routed will have a pink dot, which we'll see in just a moment. Now, let's say that you want to add stops and students to this route. We're going to zoom in right here on Charles Road. We can see I've got two students that are unassigned. Now, the reason that we set that filter earlier to only look at McCaskey East High School students is so that when we show these unrouted and partially routed students, it's only going to show us students who attend McCaskey East High School rather than showing us students from our entire district. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this stop 183 Charles Road, and I'm just going to click on this little black dot. And you'll see here that it put it on the route. And when you do this, you want to make sure that this green auto box is turned on so that it auto sequences it in the route. If you don't do that, it's going to put it after the school. And that just won't make sense for the route to be able to assign a to and from stop for this student. Now, all we're going to do is click on this red dot and drag out to this stop. We'll see that blue line there. And then we're going to go ahead and do it for this other red dot as well. So now these two blue lines indicate that I'm about to assign two students. If you want to review who these two students are, you can see that easily by clicking on that number in the screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this change. So now we've just assigned two new students to this route. This is a really fast way to see any unrouted students that are along the paths of your route. Now you'll also want to go in and do this for your PM as well. So let's go in here and we will follow the same steps. So we're going to mark this as just looking at McCaskey East High School. And then we are going to click on that plus button, show unrouted and partially routed students, and then we're going to show those stops within walking distance on the map. And you can see now, I mentioned those pink dots earlier for partially routed students. Because both of these students were assigned to that AM trip but not a PM, they are partially routed. But once again, we can very easily just click on that black dot, make sure that it is auto sequenced. And then we can drag these students and assign them to that route. We'll go ahead and save that. And so now those students aren't going to show up on the map anymore because they are fully routed. They have an AM and a PM assignment. And we can see here that both our AM and PM trips have 54 students assigned. All right, so that's a really quick way from within the route and trip itself to get students assigned. And those filters are really going to help you out.